Anemia is a condition by which over 1.6 billion people globally suffer from. It occurs when red blood cells count of the body decreases resulting in less oxygen being transported to active cells of the body. Are you feeling constantly tired? Has your skin turned pale? Then you might be showing symptoms of anemia and maybe rest is not all that you need. There are numerous types of anemia, but the most common is iron deficiency anemia. Hemoglobin, an iron-containing protein, is the main component of red blood cell. Therefore, if number of iron plummets, production of hemoglobin will be greatly hindered. If you are anemic, don't be scared. We are here for you. In this video we will tell you how to reverse your situation and what you should do about iron deficiency. Let's get going then. Start with consulting your doctor and bring changes in your diet by adding more iron-rich sources. As it is the lack of iron in your body, you can take iron supplements that contain ferrous form of iron that will be easily absorbed by your body, whereby restoring the level of iron in your body. If taken empty stomach, then iron will be absorbed more efficiently, but if it does not suit you as it can cause stomach upsets, then you can have it with meal. But you need to see your doctor before having iron supplements. Where there are medicines, there are side effects. So, iron supplements can cause nausea, constipation, diarrhea, black stools, and stomach pain. Excess intake of it can be harmful as well. Take care of it too. These iron supplements will also be recommended by your doctor if you have iron deficiency anemia, while he may also suggest increasing intake of iron-rich food in your diet along with supplements. Let's take a look at some of those natural resources of iron. Vegetable is a word that itself does not go down the throat of many, leave alone the vegetable itself. Well, I am talking about meat lovers here. Healthy green leafy vegetables like spinach are a good source of iron. Other than that, it also contains vitamin B12 and folic acids along with many energy-boosting nutrients that will help one recover from anemia. Don't take it raw. Instead cook it for few minutes on low flame because raw one contains oxalic acid which may hinder the absorption of iron in the body. If you are in mood of juice, then why not try spinach juice, and you can also add honey in it which will also make it taste better. Other leafy green vegetables with ample amount of iron include celery, broccoli, mustard greens, and moringa leaves. In fact, moringa leaves provides more amount of iron than spinach. Other than iron, it also contains vitamins A, vitamin C, and magnesium. Take about 20 to 25 chopped moringa leaves with a teaspoon of jaggery powder and blend it. You can consume it along with your breakfast which proves to be beneficial in increasing your iron level, consequently improving hemoglobin level and red blood cell count. You can also have drumstick leaves, which is rich in iron, calcium, magnesium, vitamin A, and vitamin C, that will aid ion curing anemia. Like moringa leaves, you can also have it with breakfast, straining the juice of leaves and adding little honey in it. You looking for more effective source of iron? A more effective remedy? Then beetroot is here for you, one of the best sources of iron. Not only does it contain iron, but also magnesium, fiber, potassium, sulfur, calcium, folic acid, vitamin A, vitamin C, and many other vitamins and nutrients. It helps supply more oxygen to the body and acts as blood purifiers and blood builders. You can have it with carrots which will make up a good duo. You can also add in carrot juice or pomegranate juice as well that will definitely reduce symptoms of anemia by increasing the producing of hemoglobin and hence stimulating red blood cells production. Pomegranate is also rich in calcium, copper, magnesium, and vitamin C. A teaspoon of lime can be added after straining juice from chopped beetroot to enhance its taste and add to the amount vitamin C as well. Enjoy it regularly with your breakfast and observe its effect. If you are planning to do workout, then have it an hour before doing it as it boosts energy level in the body while keeping you more active. You want sources of iron other than vegetables? 
everyone knows other benefit of sesame seed, but did you know it is also beneficial in treating iron deficient anemia? Yes, it is proven to increase hemoglobin levels and also encouraging the absorption of iron. It is not only loaded with iron, but also with copper, zinc, calcium, folic acid, vitamin B6, selenium. Soak sesame seeds in water for around 3 hours, and then after draining off water, grind them into a paste. Add a teaspoon of honey and consume it every day after your breakfast. Just peel a banana and experience its effect. Remember not to throw its peel on floor, otherwise, well you know the rest. Bananas are full of iron, potassium, magnesium, vitamin C, and folate. It understood the importance of enzymes also, and therefore, it also assists in production of enzymes for the making of red blood cells, while improving generation of hemoglobin. If you want a topping, then also add honey on sliced bananas and enjoy the delight. Sweet delicious dates along with raisins are all we need to make a perfect snack. Take few dates and a tablespoon of raisins in it, soak them well in water for half an hour, and then after straining water enjoy your snack. It can also be added to your breakfast menu. Dates can also be consumed empty stomach before breakfast along with milk they are rich in iron, vitamin A, magnesium, copper, and vitamin C which promotes the absorption of iron. They also provide high energy as they are high in calories. Beware, high intake of it can increase blood sugar level, and these are high in sugar. Most of us love sugar cane, but what if I say that one its byproduct is also helpful in treating anemia or iron deficiency? Blackstrap molasses, a sweet byproduct of sugar cane contains iron, calcium, magnesium, selenium, and vitamin B6. When consumed on regular basis, it proves to be helpful in revving up production of red blood cells and iron levels in the body. Add it in warm water or milk, stir well and drink every day few hours before going to bed. What you need to is that copper deficiency can also lead to anemia and lowering down iron level in your body. You might wonder what for copper then? Well it's pretty easy. Just store water in copper vessel overnight and drink this copper infused water in morning and other times of day as also advised by Dr. Vasant Ladd. It is also highly recommended by Ayurvedic medicine as it increases iron level along with fulfilling the need of many essential nutrients of the body. What is the use of getting iron when there is not an efficient absorption of it? Therefore, intake of vitamin C also holds the same importance in treating iron deficiency as it promotes the absorption of iron. We have already mentioned a lot of vitamin C sources till now, but it is also found in ample amount in citric fruits like oranges, grapefruit, tangerine, gooseberries, apple, lemon, and berries. These will increase iron level along with hemoglobin level in the blood. Furthermore, it also strengthens immune system of the body. But intake of too much vitamin C in a day can cause acidity. You must have heard, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. It's actually true for your doctor treating your anemia. Along with having vitamin C, it also contains iron and other essential nutrients which are helpful in treating anemia. As the saying goes, eat an apple every day. You can also make its juice along with honey and beetroot making up a juice full of nutrients, iron, and vitamin C. Till now we showed you what you should eat, but what about what you should avoid? Hold your breaths tea and coffee lovers. Yes, black and green tea hinders the absorption of iron. Although, they are good for weight loss, but you need to avoid it for better absorption of iron. Same goes for coffee as well. But you can have it after about two hours of having an iron-rich meal. I understand that it is more difficult to leave an addiction than adding food items to your meal that you don't like. Other than diet, you can help blood flow more easily by taking a cold bath. Cold bath helps body reach an ideal temperature needed for proper flow of blood. When you undergo iron deficiency anemia, consult your doctor as he will prescribe you the most appropriate medicines and remedies according to cause and severity of your condition. It is important to address the cause of deficiency which will vary the treatment. If it is left untreated, it can cause more complications 
development delays in children, heart failure, and might even lead to death. If the cause of iron deficiency is not the lack of intake of iron, but improper absorption of iron in the body, then nutrients can directly be injected in your blood known as intravenous iron therapy. If it is more severe, then blood transfusion is done to directly transfer red blood cells in the body to increase the blood count. Let us know what you think about the remedies or treatment of iron deficiency anemia. Were they effective in restoring iron level in your body? That's all for now, folks. Make sure to like, subscribe and click the bell icon so you never miss a video that we put out. Tell us what video we should do next. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching.